Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to test the new Surreal Skin Foundation from Makeup by Mario. I got the shade 5N because it was described as light neutral, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know anything about this. I picked it up like the day it launched. I just was very intrigued by the the way it was described on the Sephora app because it's supposed to be like I think hydrating. I don't know. I haven't heard any anybody review this yet. I mean I've seen videos but I haven't watched them because I didn't want them to influence me. So I just want to read what it says on the box. It doesn't say much. It's just like a plain black packaging like other products in his line. Um, but it says, Surreal Skin Foundation is my complexion masterpiece. I put my heart into this groundbreaking formula with the hope of not creating a barrier of foundation, but rather awakening the true infinite beauty that lies within. Okay, with love and light, Mario. So, that sounds like it's supposed to be very good. <laughs> So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a nice glass bottle. The cap is um, plastic, but it's like nice and thick. It doesn't feel cheap. And it's a pump, of course. So let's just put this on. I'm gonna apply it with a sponge. And I already put a primer on. I used my, um, where did I put it? my VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh because I'm just trying to use this up and I know how it works and I know that I like it so I don't think it will, you know, be a bad... I think it will work well because, well, I don't know, but it works with everything else, so <laughs> that's it. And um, so I will say when you look at this, I don't know if it's going to come across on camera. But I can see, like, shimmer in the formula. So that's very interesting. I don't know how that's going to come across on the skin. And well, we'll just have to see, I guess. But for me, I like a dewy foundation look anyway, or like a radiant foundation. So that's fine. Like, that's not going to deter me from using this. So I will just shake it. I don't know if you have to, but I guess. I should. And I'm going to start with one pump. And first I have to change my battery because it's dying. So I also zoomed you in so you can see what I'm doing. So like I said, I'll start off with one pump. Well, one pump is really not a lot of product, but let's just see how this goes. It's very um, liquidy. Like it's not a thick texture. I would say it's medium coverage right off the bat because it's covering pretty well with just that small amount and I think the shade is okay. I did try it in store. I already knew like I was going to get this shade but there happened to be someone there that helped me and they put a little like on my face here and it seemed to like blend right in so I went with 5N. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna need more for my nose and forehead. So I'm gonna do another, oh God. Okay, so that's an actual pump size. I guess because it was the first time I used it, there was air in it. So yeah, now I probably have too much. I'm just going to wipe some of that off on a tissue because I don't want this to look cakey and then I'll think the foundation is cakey when it's really just that I put too much product on because I don't usually wear a lot of foundation when I do wear foundation but so far it looks pretty good. I'm going to have to read like some claims on the Sephora app because I honestly just saw like 
when I opened the Sephora app on the day it launched, it was the first thing and I was like, oh, I really want to try that. I just think like, normally I don't get super excited about new foundations unless they sound like something I would really like. And this one just seemed to be up my alley. Plus I want to try more Makeup by Mario products because I bought the... I actually have two other brand new products from Makeup by Mario still in the box. <laughs> I wanted to try them in this video, but I honestly don't know if, I, if I'll have time. Well, at least to give a, like a full review. But I also got the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. This is a Radiant Skin Powder. It's the one that has like three colors, like a... I guess it's supposed to be like a highlighter, bronzer, and a powder, like a translucent powder. I got this also on the day it launched and then I put it in my new makeup drawer and never touched it. <laughs> and I also got, which you would have seen in my haul, the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette, which I really want to try. So, I don't know, but I think this video will mainly be focused on this foundation. And I'm going to do a wear test and everything like that. So, okay. It actually looks pretty good. It is, um, I would say, even though it had like shimmer, visible shimmer in it, I think it's not really coming across. Like, I don't see any shimmer on my skin, which is good. And it's not matte which it, I don't think it's supposed to be, but it does look like a little powdery um, on my skin. I do have very dry skin if you're new here, so just to give you an idea. But I think it looks nice on camera. It looks like nice and healthy. Um, but I did use the Lumi Layer Primer, which has a glow on its own too, so now I'm not really sure what if the glow is the foundation or the primer. It is looking quite dry on my forehead. I don't know if you can see that here. But it's not bad. I've definitely seen a lot worse. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll wear this for... I don't know, the rest of the day into the night. It's already 2 p.m. though when I'm filming this. I meant to start earlier, but I had other things to do. But yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. So that's the shade 5N. I think it's a good match for me. Okay, so... Maybe I can quickly try this on top, the Self Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector because I'm really just curious about it and I don't have any other face products from Makeup by Mario. So let's see. I did get the light shade. So this is not new but it's new to me. So that's what it looks like. It it kind of has three shades there. Yeah, I'm not really sure what brush I should use. But I do need to put something on my lips because they're very dry and they're driving me crazy. So I just zoomed out a little because I felt like I wasn't <laughs> in frame. But I do have the Makeup by Mario um, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Bronze Glow. So I'm going to use that like as a lip balm. And this is like, if you haven't seen it before, you twist the product and it's very glossy. So don't twist it up too much because you will get a lot of product come out. So th this is like the Tarte Maracuya Juicy Lips. Is that what they're called? I think. It's basically the same product. I've said this before. <laughs> Uh, but I really like it, so that's the shade of Bronze Glow. But let's put this on. I don't remember if... I do know I watched the video 
um, Makeup by Mario's video when, or like the tips on how to apply it but honestly it was so long ago I don't really remember if you're supposed to like swirl it all together I don't think so I think you're meant to use it well I guess you could use it however you want but I just feel like I want to try and see if I can use the different shades I have this Royal and Lime Nickel brush um, this looks small enough so I'm gonna focus first on the bottom which seems to be like a matte bronze powder or maybe more like a contour shade but let's see Is that doing anything? <laughs> yeah, it's a very soft color. This is the light um, version. So I'm trying to focus on the bottom, but I'm honestly getting the middle part too, which is more like a shimmer, if you can see. But it's blending fine on top of the foundation. Okay. I don't know how much you can see that on camera. I feel like, well, I have a different lamp in my room now and I feel like it washes me out. Like I look very pale on camera, but in person I look normal. So yeah, whatever. So now I'm going to try and focus on the middle part. Well, I guess I'll stick with the same brush, but I want to get some of the shimmer like on this area higher up. Oh, this definitely does have shimmer in it. I can see it. Um, in my mirror. Okay. And then the very top, I, I think I heard it's supposed to be a powder, but it looks kind of like a highlighter to me. So I'm gonna try and see if it does anything as a highlighter. I'm just going in with the fan brush. It's very powdery. I think that gave me a highlight though. Yeah, that's definitely glowy. Oh, I kind of like that. I was really not sure what that was. <laughs> um, but now that I know it has a glow, I'm, I wouldn't use that like under my eyes or anything. Not that I do normally use a lot of powder under my eyes, but if you had this product and you intended to do that, um, it's definitely going to give you glowy under eye. Okay, that's kind of pretty actually. Okay, I don't know why I went straight to powder because I didn't put <laughs> concealer on yet. Um, for my under eye, I'm just going to use the remnants of my Tarte Aqua Sealer that's still kicking around. I'm just going to put... I think I'm just going to do that much because I don't want to go over the powder. I'm just going to call this done pretty soon because I find lately whenever I put this on it makes my under eyes look dry. So I think like it's finally expired or like it's separated but I don't know if you can see like I am actually like lower than this line here so I don't know. I think it's time to move on from that. Anyway, maybe I do have time to try the eyeshadow really quickly, but it's just gonna be a very basic everyday um, look. So I'm just very curious about this palette. And anyway, this is a very light palette. I showed it in my haul video. It's um, this 
is the packaging, nice like tin packaging. And these are the shades, so it leans very light rosy. So a really nice like everyday palette for me. I will use my Urban Decay Primer Potion as usual. Yeah, so a lot of his products don't say much on the packaging. It always just says, for Mario's exclusive techniques and tips, visit MakeupByMario.com. So I think he wants you to watch his videos where he's actually using the product. And I, I like that. I like to watch the creator actually use the product because then you know like how it's intended to use. Um, but I haven't just, I haven't had time <laughs> to watch any videos about this palette but right off the bat it has a matte cream shade so I'm gonna go in with that if you're um, new here I do that pretty much any with every palette I just use the matte cream shade as a base on top of my primer pretty standard matte cream shade I did notice there was like some kick up in the pan, which is fine for me. Um, for a transition shade, which way do I want to go? You can do cool. It's this is basically like a cool neutral palette. Um, even the dark browns, they don't look very warm like these two. So I think I want to go in. Just with this shade, this, um, I don't know, like a greasy mauve, I guess. Oh, there is, okay, on the back there's names, but they're just numbers. So that cream shade is EE1, <laughs> if I'm reading this correctly, and the one beneath it is EE5. So I think I'm going to use a fluffy brush for this, which is not that clean. I can make it work. This one from Alamar Cosmetics. Oh, yes, very powdery in the pan. If you can see that. Okay, I feel like that gives a nice crease definition because it just looks like a natural shadow blends easily. I'm just going to do the one eye on camera to save time. And let's just deepen up a little more with a more like focused brush. This one. This is an Aveda brush. I don't know if it still exists. But I'm just going to go down to this brown EE9. Just for like the outer corner. There is a mirror in this palette by the way, but I <laughs> I still have the sticker on it so I can't see it. These shadows are very blendable. And I definitely want to use a shimmer. I think this m m one in the middle is calling to me. By the way, these three are shimmers and then this one looks more like a metallic, like a foiled shade. And this one looks, is also shimmery, but more subdued than these ones, which look very sparkly in the pan. So let's see if it applies with a brush. Just gonna use this flat tart brush that I always use in my videos. Okay, it's picking up well with the brush. It's doing it's, you know, behaving like a typical, like, sparkly shade. Oh, that is very pretty. That is even more sparkly than I thought it would be. Okay, now I see why this is called Ethereal Eyes, because it's just a very soft, like sparkle 
And when I move my head in light, I don't think that's coming across on camera, but it's just very nice and sparkly, but almost like has a sheer base. But it's really pretty. I'm kind of just blending that up into the crease also. That was like super easy. <laughs> a very easy eye look, which looks you know, like natural enough to wear in the day, but at night, this could be really pretty too, with the way it sparkles in the light. Ooh, okay, that was really nice. Uh, for the lower lash now, I'm gonna go back in with this middle shade that I used. And just run that like along the lower lash line and then with some of the brown on the outer corner So I'm just doing what I did like on the top basically Okay, I am liking this so far. I mean this is the most basic look ever but it blended super easily came together in minutes as you saw so I'm quite happy with this but I definitely want something on the inner corner because I can never not put an inner corner highlight I think I'm gonna go with the top shimmer shade here which looks to be like a light champagne shade oh yeah that's very pretty wow there is so much sparkle in the shadows and I think I'll just bring it down on the in the in the inner corner but on the lower lash that's very pretty okay I'm really liking this <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen the best reviews of this palette so I don't know but now that I try it for myself I can watch other videos because um, a lot of people are using this in their new makeup videos and I've been like oh I, I need to try it first before <laughs> before I get my hopes up I guess but um, yeah I'm really liking this already because I like very like basic shimmery looks if you're new here <laughs> if you're not new here I'm sure you know that already and whenever I test a new palette I do a very basic look that I would do like in real life because that to me is a true test of the palette because I'm using it in the way that I would intend to so yeah you could definitely go with this row here and deepen up or make it more like nighttime appropriate but I don't I think I want to stop here for today so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye I don't have the makeup by Mario brow product so I'm just gonna use what I have and he doesn't have a mascara does he I don't think so so I'll just use what I have for that as well and then I'll be back to do a check-in on the foundation and maybe put blush on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, I just used my Hourglass Caution Mascara, uh, my Essence Make Me Brow, and my Kosas Clear Brow Gel. And for blush, I put on my Hourglass Mood Exposure um, because it's in my everyday makeup drawer. <laughs> it was in my deck of panning and I hit my goal on it a long time ago, but I just keep using it because it's it goes with everything. I really like this actually. Um, but anyway, that's not what we're here for today. So for the foundation, I think it looks good. It looks really good on camera. If I look at it like really close in my mirror, I will say it it's kind of like um not accentuating my pores but it's kind of like in my pores 
if you know what I mean. Like I can see the foundation on my skin, which I'm not loving. <laughs> and it's looking dry right here. But I do have dry skin, so I don't know if that's the foundation or just my dry skin. Um, so we'll have to see how it wears because that's always the real test for me because I've had foundations that look really good at first but they wear horribly or they look horrible at first and wear really well so I never, <laughs> I never know. Um, but I will put setting spray because I always use setting spray and I feel like I need some like hydration in my skin so I'm just going to use my Half Magic Dew Lock because that's in my shop my stash currently but I'm going to hide my eyes because this makes my eyeshadow crease I mentioned that in the, another video and I want to see how this eyeshadow wears because I love it actually um, it looks beautiful and there's no fallout or like barely any fallout on my face considering how like glittery the shadow is I think I really like it but anyway I'm gonna apply this very far from my face And hopefully that will bring some life <laughs> back to my skin. But I did really quickly want to read the claims of this foundation because I feel like it said hydrating somewhere, but now I'm not sure if I'm misremembering that. So let's look it up on the Sephora app. So it says it's a breathable, luminous foundation that effort effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage okay so it's supposed to be long wearing again I don't know if I do find like I look illuminated but like I said, my primer was illuminating primer, so I'm not sure how much of that is the primer or the foundation. So I'd have to try it with different primers, but I do agree that it's luminous at least. Um, and it has grapeseed oil and vegetal squalene, which is supposed to be moisturizing and perfecting powders. Works with skin's natural texture for a smooth and enhanced finish. Okay, that is interesting because I do feel like it looks like it has a powdery finish almost, like I mentioned before. So now that I'm reading that there's perfecting powders in the foundation, that makes sense. Yes, so it has moisture grip technology and hydrates skin and glides on easily for customizable coverage. Layer it on or shear it out. So I did apply like enough for what I, for my preferences. So I wouldn't layer on more than this, but I guess you can build it up if you want. And yeah, it's a buildable formula. Works harmoniously with powders or creams while staying true to its original color. I do agree because I put, as you saw, all three of, well, this is one product, but I put all three shades on my face on top and it didn't disrupt anything and it doesn't look weird or, I don't know, it didn't patch up or anything like that. So I agree with those claims. So let's see if it's long wearing. Hopefully I can wear this for, I don't know, seven hours and we'll see what it looks like at the end of the night. But yeah, so far it doesn't look super hydrating on me, but it also doesn't look bad. So that's my, <laughs> my check-in um, 40 minutes later. Well, 30 minutes later. So I will be back later tonight to tell you my final thoughts.
Hey guys, so I'm back to check in at the end of the day. It is 9.49 p.m. and I am ready to wash my face. But I wanted to show you, as promised, a wear test. So I finished filming at around like 2.45, let's say. So what did I say it was? Oh, so it's been like seven hours, like I thought it would be. So, not maybe a full day for most people, but I think it's enough to <laughs> at least have a, an opinion on. So, I know the lighting isn't great, but when I look at this in my mirror, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I actually feel like it... I got, not that I got oily because I have dry skin, but I guess the radiance came through throughout the day. Um, and it didn't like, I don't know, it didn't crease or like cake up or anything. I will say though, it looks a bit dry on my cheek. I think, yeah, you can see that even. But I've been like touching my face and blowing my nose and you know, all of that. So it may have disrupted um, some of the foundation. But also note, this is where I applied the radiant powder also. So it could be that. Um, the only thing I'll say is I definitely feel like this foundation like seeps into my pores. So, I don't, I don't know. Can you even tell? Like, this is me being very picky and trying to give you an update, but when I look closely, like, I definitely see that my pores look enhanced. And I actually did watch um, a Lauren May Beauty video um, in the meantime, and she was trying this foundation for the second time, I think she said, and she described it as putting foundation on an orange. <laughs> so that is exactly like how I feel about this area right across here. But for the rest of my face, it's not as bad. It's just really in that part. And that is where my pores are you know, larger anyway, so. But overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm not disappointed. It's not my favorite foundation, I don't think, but I don't really have anything else to say <laughs> other than what I just said. So I hope this was helpful, but I have to keep trying it and really see and try it with different um, primers. Maybe if I use like a blurring primer or like a smoothing primer, it might look better. So I'll keep you posted on that. But yeah, that is my wear test for the Surreal Skin Foundation from Makeup by Mario. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!